A few weeks ago, Cherry Mobile's upcoming dual-screen phone, the Taiji, was leaked on the interwebs. The Taiji is quite an interesting phone because it's the first locally branded device that has a secondary e-ink display on the back. And while the usefulness of that display is debatable, there's no getting away from the fact that it looks freaking cool. Hi guys, my name is John Yeves and today we're going to be taking a look at the Cherry Mobile Taiji. Electronic ink displays aren't new. They're the display technology that's used by Amazon on their Kindle book readers that have been on the market for a while now. They're incredibly effective at what they do, giving ebooks insane battery life on a single charge thanks to the power efficient nature of e ink. It's not surprising then that companies like Cherry Mobile and Yoda before them have integrated this technology into phones. The theory is that a large amount of screen time on a typical mobile phone is spent reading and digesting content like books, PDFs, and news sites, replying to messages, emails, and texts. By delegating those tasks to a low-power secondary display, the hope is that you vastly increase the battery life of your phone, even one with a smaller than average battery. That's the idea at least, and while we can't comment on the overall battery life of the Taiji, simply because we didn't have the phone long enough to test that, the potential is there. So, in a nutshell, the Taiji is a phone with a 5.2-inch display paired with a smaller 4.7-inch e-ink panel on the rear. The frame of the phone is made of metal, and has a design that's reminiscent of the ridges on bamboo. The power and volume rocker is on the right, while the bottom holds two speaker grills, a USB port, and a 3.5mm jack. There's an IR blaster located on the top of the Taiji. On the rear sits the 4.7-inch e-ink display. You can't turn off the display, and it shows the last thing you were reading when it locks itself after a certain period of inactivity or when you turn off the phone. That's not a software bug. That's literally how e-ink displays work. There's a couple of things you can do with a display. You can make calls, send messages via SMS, check the time, your schedule, read news taken from several news sources, and of course, read ebooks. Since the phone was just an engineering unit, Cherry Mobile may be adding a few things to the mix when they officially release the device, but that's what we have for now. Switching back and forth from the main and secondary display was easy. With the primary display on, pressing the power button once, turn off the primary display and lock it. Pressing it again unlocks the e-ink display on the rear. Moving on to the other stuff, the Taiji's main 5.5-inch display has a full HD resolution and an IPS panel. Powering it is MediaTek's MT6752 octa-core processor paired with 3 gig of RAM and 32 gig of expandable storage. There's a 13 megapixel camera on the rear along with an 8 megapixel front camera. The operating system is Android 5.1 Lollipop which is unfortunate at the time of Android Marshmallow and the battery is 2500 mAh unit that's non-removable. If the Taiji has a big weakness, it's its price. At 12,999 pesos, it's a bit expensive and is the same price of Cherry Mobile's full metal flagship, the Flare Infinity. That's it for this very short hands-on guys. Please check out our other videos of the other things we uh, saw during Cher our visit to Chair Mobile. Uh, primarily the Chair Mobile Defender. That's a water resistant, waterproof, life-proof phone uh, that should retail for around 9,999 pesos.